Sure is going to be the bane of this puck. It's going to be Void Spirit for Navi instead. Okay. It doesn't feel like he's suffering too badly because Solo just continues to harass using that Thunderstrike. The Axe has come through again, and he's a big tanky boy, but they start to get these stacks up. He's kind of dodging back. Do you have the Decay Ana, though? Making his way over, sensing blood in the water. Waveform. We'll go for the waveform. We'll go pop the fairy fire, but end of the day, there it is. There's our first blood. Yeah, that was a lot of hard work and preparation there by White Mon. Gonna go grab himself a bounty room, fill up the bottle. Might actually run over to Zephyr. See, he's just wandering through. Yeah, there it is, the step. Oh, Lace needed that kill. Off as Lace, yeah, absolutely needed. It does end up getting the response kill, but get the drag. Topson's here. Sweden's strong, doing what he can to try to assist, but he's only level four. So Ana gets a kill on Solo. My goodness. It looks like we can see Topson is making a rotation. He's got himself the Dream Coast. He's also going to be able to grab himself the uh, Bounty Rune. Refill the bottle. Yeah. And look at this. Yeah, you can see Navi backing up a bit. Legion trying to get these creeps a little bit closer to his tower. Trade a bit back and forth over with no one in Topson. All right, gets a Haste Rune. That's a good one for Void Spirits. This is what they needed to start enabling him. He's gonna go for the dive on tops, and they'll end up using the Dream Coil, but he just gets dragged right back in. Very nice side of T1. That's such a big outplay. He feels oh, Lace. really good. Lace? Lace is dead. Rest in Pepper. Looking good for Solo here. either. Yeah, I was about to say, he got the glimpse off over on Ana, but I think they're absolutely fine diving him. White Mon's got a decent amount of health, 980 total max. So they're going to chase him down the corner. The teleport is coming in, but it might have just been a little too late. All right, now, now one, he does manage to go grab himself up White Mon. Sure, would love to have grabbed Ana, but not going to be the case. Just as the bottom lane, they do their own rotation. They find a kill on Sweden strong. Slightly better into late game just by having more fling. Uh, I think Lina is great. Oh, Bench is getting caught oh, out. Cuckoo. By Goes for the swap, but can't outrun no one. As Sweden strong following up with the battery assault. That's a dead cuckoo. And over in the mid lane, they go and use the dream coil over on solo. So just still has to farm the full next level to level six. Zephyr going a bit deep here, wanting to chase after B2. Sweden strong using the cogs. Gonna try to use the solar tower. We'll finish off. And it's not looking great here for this clockwork as Lena just sitting back, clicking down this tombstone. Solo also joining in though, could opt to go for a glimpse play if he's able to. In fact, yes, he finds himself a candidate, but not gonna be able to quite finish it up and connect. Zephyr rolling forward over onto no one, but this is not looking good for him because they'll still be able to get the kill. Uh, this waveform? Oh, there's also a gank over into the mid lane, over onto no one. They use the dream coil, and that's going to be a shared experience in the top lane, though. Ana, they have the LSA, not he's here. He's hunting for him. Can they get the No, they're not going to be able to grab high angle. This is pretty funny to me how long they've been able to just sit and chill with Vengeful Bottom. So we see a nice brawl here. Uh -oh. Yeah. Tanky boy versus tanky boy. Hookshot, though, swap coming in from Cuckoo, but needs to be careful. All right, the follow up from Ana, make sure that they get that kill. End up still losing Zephyr as no one zips in. As well. Oh, there's a big scan. They realize there are people coming. See the hookshot immediately into the static storm. They're going to just try to blow up Thompson, and they'll be able to find it. White Mon popping off with that Flesh Golem. It's going to try chasing after Sweden Strong. They get the swap off, so it looks like this poor little clock is going to just get absolutely run over. One And what moves he can make, but we have a little bit of a fight here with Zephyr going in, finding Soul. A little, glimpse, a little bit of a glimpse back, so it's just Zephyr versus Solo. It's still going to end up in a kill from Topson. Yeah, T1 are feeling very confident to take the 4v5. There's the Dream Coil coming into play. No one getting caught out over here on the side. He's just getting stun locked. It's not looking great. They go and they use the Laguna Blade. They do a lot of damage though on this Lina. They'll be able to take down Kuka. They take down Thompson. Sweet Strong will eventually fall. White Mon though, they'll use the Roar Triple Kill now for V2. He's just oh allowed to sit god. so far back. Oh my god. The power of the safe lane Lina. And they bring back got, the Oh rampage. my god, there it is. Technically. Oh, Technically no, a Rampage, quite. right? <laughs> we, we count it. Morphling. No one. It's gonna be the smoke. 
And then combing through this jungle, do manage to find themselves solo. He'll throw down the kinetic field, he's still gonna end up dying, but is the one in the pit. But they are making their way over now, so they saw that D ward, they have a general idea. They're too late. Moving himself forward, there's gonna be the glimpse, they know he's got the vision, and there it is, there it's an Aegis now for V2. Hookshot coming in over onto Topson. Can they lock him down for long enough though is the question. The Roar onto the back lines, over onto Cuckoo. They're gonna immediately lose Lee and Song, but they'll be able to put out some more damage as Zephyr is next to fall. Topson trying to run away. Not gonna be able to quite get their hands on this puck, but they do manage to get their hands on Kuka, the loose solo. And now V-Tune, that is, of course, going to be the Aegis. He's coming back up again. Buyback now from Solo. They want to protect over on the side. The throw back with the swap into the LSA, though. Can they finish off? Tana just goes away for him. He's going to be able to survive this. Another glimpse back, though, as this Disruptor does not want to get chased after, but he is going to end up falling after he bought back. A beautiful fight here for Solo. Well, that's a dead disruptor. These things happen. Yeah, they happen, but it, but now control of the top part of the jungle and bottom part of the jungle is also belonging to T1. So they're really on the back foot now. That and now they don't have a static storm to try to help protect this tier two, and that is uh, that's a big deal. You know, that's also their catch. Jump forward, swap, coming into play. They'll finish off the tower. Do you have that uh, Laguna Blade, though? Trying to get the clicks off over onto Cuckoo, and that is going to be the death, but he's coming right back up again because he does have the axe. Jump, oh, look at these cogs over here in the corner. They're holding just everyone in place, but they guess, again, with that snowball, three dead on the side of Na'Vi. This is looking... Or she's going to swap you when she dies because she will come back and have spells ready. That was never going to work out in a good way. And now she's still around, there still able to fight. Oh, okay. Lace was there. Not there anymore. They drop a Static Storm, which is nice, but gonna need a little bit more damage, because look at these guys, they don't care. Oh, they just stand there, they hard. even drop their seeds of, uh... Their seeds of Serenity, and they're like, alright, we'll just stand in our grass. We'll touch grass while you do that. I haven't been studying up on your oh, neutral cool. item lore. Oh, the swap immediately over to no one. He's gonna try to simulate away. Looks like he's gonna come into play. It's alright, Sweden's strongly going for the cogging over to Ana, but that's a very scary perspective. Are you're just trapped in there with Ana? He's fine with it. Topson going forward, uses the dream coil. Trying to just do the damage over on the side, but Ana's beyond godlike. He just jumps in, gets killed on solo, following up over onto V-Tune. The man just to go and drag the LSA, they'll end up losing Zephyr. Now Ana, he is silenced. He's got to be a little bit careful, so use the whip, try to run out, get the roar off over onto Topson. <laughs> White Mon doing whatever he can to try to keep him alive, but they just have too much damage over onto V2. They just extended perhaps a little bit too much on the side of T1. I love how it's never the person's fault, you know. The, the guy who's guilty for all of this, he lives. He's fine. The, the Ana Morphling diving in and causing all this, he gets to TP out. Meanwhile, his team dies and he just hits them He's with... Master. As the roar. Oh, the swap can save to make him. the play over onto Topson. Yep, they'll get the swap off. And the follow up now from Zephyr. They'll go and drop the Dream Coil. It's not looking good now for no one because he's just essentially locked into place. Can running right past Ana with the haste Ana is sitting too tanky for him to be able to burst him. Well, this time it's going to be Sweden Strong who uh, ends up biting the bullet. Solo gonna hide a little bit closer in the tree line, throw out one more. That tier one tower on top lane. So they're sitting around trying to find a kill, but I think they're better to get out right now. A lot of people in the area. We'll say Lace is doing a great job. Oh, okay, as Topson immediately finds him. He's gonna try to punish. No one with the follow up. Drops the remnant. White Mon trying to get over there, trying to keep him alive, but it's just a little bit too far away from the rest of the team. Not gonna be able to go and cancel out the TP of no one, but they do. The Both axe. are huge. Oh, watch out for the, the smoke swap here. The swap, Some... yeah, look at them inching closer. Topson, looking, hey, anybody home? You don't even need the swap when you walk out of the base like that, Lace. Like, oh, goodness. They sold items. Look at this Raptor. He sold everything. Oh my God. He has all the items. Oh, my God. He wants this one ulti. Is he going to be able to find it, though? All right, jump in over onto White Mon over on the back lines. Zephyr popping that BKB. He doesn't even catch any one of the ulti. Oh, no. no. Oh, it's a disaster. Cuckoo is going to end up cleaning up VTN. Oh, my God. Absolute disaster for the side of Na'Vi. Yeah, they're scrambling now, but looks like Anna. There's nothing that can really stop him. He has Aegis. He has BKB, Manta, Lincoln. Everything is ready. They now respawn with Beastmaster, but his team is gone. 
There was so much gamble of like having that early axe. Okay, the swap opening over onto V2. And he's just dead. Dead for 80 something seconds. The GG gets called. My god, T1 striking back with a total aggression and just calculation in this game number two. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any thoughts and ideas, please leave comments below. We are grateful for your support. Thank you.